Thanks, Elena. Um, how much momentum do the team carry on from from the way that they they got through Wednesday, and and what's the the feeling like amongst the amongst the squad at the moment? Uh, I think we're in a pretty good place. Confident, excited, <laughs> happy, um, and I just think that you know, for me, for me, I just think the final message would be will be like go all in, um, because I think I think if we look at the opposition we have, like with all respect, uh, I'm more confident in my players than the opposition. So I'm very confident and I'm very looking forward to the challenge tomorrow. Thank you. And how big an opportunity is this and what do you expect from, from Gentra tomorrow? Yeah, of course, I think it's a massive opportunity. We, we've never we've never quite got out of out of this section of Champions League, so there's always that. Um, and what we expect is we obviously all went down as a as a team to watch the, the first half and and obviously like Elena says, there'll be respect there, but there'll be there'll be no fear. We know what we bring to this group and we know what we bring moving forward into hopefully the next stages, but obviously this is the, the first test and like I said, we respect all but, but fear none when it comes to what this team can do and where we can take ourselves throughout this competition. Thanks guys, best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, farewell. Hi there, hi guys. Um, I wanted to ask you more specifically what you think you're going to face. You obviously said you were going to go and watch and you've watched the team on Wednesday night that you're going to face tomorrow. What specific challenges do you expect them to present for you, Elena? Uh, I would say that uh, like, I, they saw our game uh, and I know that they're going to fear us a little bit. Um, and I know that they've been uh, coming into the, how do you say, like uh, the mental mentality for them is that they're the underdogs. They're putting the pressure on us. And uh, I know that they're going to make sure that they give us the hardest challenge they can get, get us. Um, there are some technical players uh, in that team that can do threats. Um, but overall, I think the quality of, of my team is higher. Uh, and that's something that Caitlin is also saying, like respect, but we fear no one. Uh, and we should just be confident enough that we, we need to do what we're good at and, and win the game. <laughs> Uh, Caitlin, hi. Um, you've obviously been on this kind of the whole of the Champions League journey with Celtic since that first game, uh, the the goal that you scored back in 2021, I think. <laughs> um, how much do you relish the opportunity to just take that one step further and, you know, the, the potential opposition that you could face and the challenge that that would be for you and the rest of the squad? Look, there's no there's no competition like Champions League. I think it's something that every little girl and boy grows up and, and dreams to play in. It, it's a competition like no other, and it's a competition that obviously the men's side have, have, have done very well in the past. Obviously, the star that sits above the crest, and, and that's just something the women's side wants to emulate. It's something the women's side strives to also gain success for the overall club in general, and I think we have an opportunity this year and I think it's an opportunity that so far we, we've taken and, and we'll take it on Sunday and, and see what, where we end up. Saturday. <laughs> I'm thinking I've got an extra day of rest. <laughs> we play tomorrow. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Caitlin, and good luck tomorrow to both of you. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Okay, brilliant. David Folds. Hi, Elena. As head coach, how satisfying was it for you and to watch the players coming off the bench on Wednesday make such an impact in the game? I was very satisfied. Um, I feel like uh, I've said it enough uh, and I keep saying it, but, you know, the players that comes in and makes that big of an impact in the game is obviously, it's not only for, for me as a coach, I think, like, the players that play as well that are still on the pitch, I think, players coming in with that energy and quality, I think that says everything about our squad this season. Hey, Caitlin, the Celtic fans sing you'll never walk alone. Yet You guys really showed that that's true the other day when you had those supporters there cheering you at the end. How did that make the squad feel? Um, God, I just think they just epitomise what the club's all about. 
Um, they travel near and far and, and, they're always, and they're always heard and I've said it before and I'll continue to say it that they wear the badge unapologetically and they're proud of it no matter where, no matter where we fly to. Um, we've bumped into them in the streets and they've got their green and white hoops on and, and it's something that makes somewhere so far away from home feel like home um, and that's because of them and ultimately the fight comes for them um, and for the club's success and I can't speak highly of en enough of them all. Um, they're all incredible um, and like I said, we just feel there is support and it pushes us over the line when, when the game isn't going our way necessarily and, and yeah, they're heard and they're, they travel far and wide and, and they're loved by us so that's, that's how they feel. Best of luck. Thank you. Thanks David. Hey guys, just Caitlin, um, it's very early on in your season, you are about five games in. How does it feel as for you as players coming into such a such a massive qualification stage at such an early stage in your season? Yeah, of course. I think it I think it holds challenges. Um, as part of this group that are still getting to know each other and and still obviously we have that momentum, but with momentum comes progression each game and and there's areas always to improve ultimately. But I think we just keep getting better and better. Um, we obviously work on what we don't do well at, but look. We can only play who's in front of us and, and play as well as the stage we're at and thankfully we're doing, we're doing just well as, as we are and there's definitely room to improve and, and that's what we'll focus on moving forward as we go into different challenges but yeah we're just focusing on progression and, and obviously enjoying the moments. Brilliant yeah and obviously your in, international teammates here Shanuni came off the bench in the semi and, uh, and scored a hat-trick off, off the bench so what's it been like for her coming in obviously in the window how she settled in? Yeah, she's been great. Obviously, <laughs> she was she was with my uh, she was with my first camp with Ireland, um, and we clicked right away. And and I knew she was a good girl coming in, and and she was full of energy, and and yeah, just honestly a great girl, and couldn't couldn't happen to anyone better. And she remains humble, and she works hard every session, and and yeah, she's definitely fitted right into this squad. And obviously, providing those three goals, it it proves that exactly where she should be, and and she's that quality of a player.